Hey guys, Keith from Hellhornet Games. I'm on Icarus today and I'm doing the mission called Uplift Bio Research Bio Research Riverlands. And there's two objectives find and investigate unusual flora and find and locate and unearth geode data. Um, so there are two locations. You come your pod comes down in looks to be F2. And there's two blue circle locations on your map where you've got to get to. I've got to the first one already, that's quite close to your dropship in E3. The other one's over here in B4. So what I want to show you first is what the what the rare plant looks like. Now, you've got to I think look at this plant after six o'clock in the evening. So it's just turned six thirty. And when you arrive here, it's daytime. And the plant looks like a grey, just a grey colour, nothing happens. But at night, it looks uh, like it's blooms and it allows you to interact. During the day, it won't let you interact with it. So you get the option to interact once it's night time. So I've built myself a little safety base while I was waiting. Make myself some food, etc. But I'm going to interact with that now and see what happens. Okay, nothing happened, um, and it didn't give me anything in my inventory either, so there must be more to it than that. Well, that's strange. Could there be more than one, I wonder? Well, while we're at it, I'm just going to kill some local wildlife. Just going to see if it grows back or something. Got a funny feeling. It's maybe bugged out. But what we'll do then? We'll head to the second location and see if you maybe you've got to do that location first or something. Who knows? Strange. I should go out the look at go out and come again. It didn't when I travelled to the map location it didn't actually activate the mission. So I think it might be bugged. So normally when you travel to the map location, you go inside So if you go inside inside the map location, your your mission objective should update, but it hasn't it hasn't noticed that I've entered the map location, which is strange. So maybe I'll maybe I'll go right across the map location and see. Yeah, okay, so 
it hadn't updated, it hadn't actually activated the map. So if you pick the thing up before it activates the map, it doesn't notice you've picked it up. Gather data. Um, so I'm gonna have to wait now another night until the next, till six o'clock the next night. So what we'll do, we will have a bit of a rest. That'll take us to 7 a.m. at least. I suppose what we might as well do is do a bit of hunting while we're while we're waiting. Hunter gathering. Maybe improve our base a little bit. Why not? Let's have a look. See if there's any. Uh, see if we can't make a mortise and pestle. See what's over here in terms of resources. Ah, that's plenty. Okay, so we got. What's that? Ah, sofa. I have one of those. It's weird when you've been on open world so long and you, you revert back to. You revert back to your old pick from the dropship, and uh, it's much slower at harvesting resources than my titanium pick. I'm actually trying to save up, save up enough um, ren and enough exotics to try and get that pick that creates um, that weird resources. So cause what I'm trying to do is get some obsidian and um, other kind of special resources from Prometheus, but I want to get them on Olympus and sticks. In order to do that, I need the special pick. So. All right, we've got some of each now. It should help us craft a few bits and pieces back at the base. There we go, put all that in there. Excellent. So for our travels, I think we'll actually have, we'll have another campfire when we go to the other so I need some fibre so I need another campfire and another bedroll ready for when I go to the other map location so we have a campfire bedroll, I need a bit of leather and uh, to be honest I might just take all that back out <laughs> Because I wouldn't mind crafting a little hut as well for when I get to the other map location. So we'll have a four clean hut, which needs six of those, and a door, and six of those. And that's my favourite size hut. make our way to the other map location because we've got a whole day to kill and this one's on the way back anyway so I suppose um, I suppose we could do that right now we'll put everything back in there here Entry out. Okay, so we've got a hut and a place of safety for next time, which is good. Okay, what else might we need? We might need an oxide dissolver, so we'll make one of those. It's always worth having a herbalism bench and marks and pestle. Don't need any textiles bench. Salting station can be useful. Find some salt, so. Let's get some stuff made up. While we uh, wait for the uh, timer to run down a bit. Could do with being able to um, sleep during the day, couldn't you? So you could 
sort so we could get to night. That's a long time to wait. <laughs> okay, let's have a stuff over here. The salt in station. And um, the oxygen thing. I don't actually like having the windows there really, but I don't think it should get damaged. It should be alright. I wonder about having some curtains on there. I wonder if it'll let you put curtains on. No, it won't let you put curtains on, so I think what I'll do, I'll pick those up. We'll put just normal windows down. And that way I can actually put some curtains on, make it look a bit more homely. Well, and that's colliding, so I have to pick that back up. That's what I was worried about. So that means that's slightly outside, so it could have been damaged. There we go. It's night time. I mean, it's daytime. <laughs> okay. Oxide dissolver. Right there. And we'll give it some, some of this stuff. So now if we, well we might as well top up our oxygen while we're here. And then the other thing to sort out while we're here is uh, set up a, uh, a water filter. So we'll do that. Um, got some charcoal which you need. So let's see, I think it's just the normal crafting. Yeah, there it is, that's what you need. A couple of those. I can only do one. Alright. Got water right next to the base, so that's okay. So we need some water. We need that. Put all this back all this stuff back now. And we need the charcoal to be able to we'll just pop this down here in the water. And then we'll pop the charcoal in it. There we go. And that will now start filtering some water for me. Grab it. Go. Free lunch. Wish you could tame rabbits, that would be fun. <laughs> okay, that's certainly getting some decent food going on now. I just take that out so it start getting blocked. We always use rotten meat in there. We'll pop the. I always like to do this. See, there's a nice little top on on the herbalism bench. I, do, I always like to put my little my uh, thing on there, so it's that easy to access. <laughs> and to be honest, the rotten meat, you can make an anti-poison tonic in there, so that one, the poison paste, you just need a bit of sulphur, so make a bit of poison paste and that way you can make some anti-poison tonic for our travels if we want. Um, I'll go put the rest of this charcoal in here just so there's enough because it does burn through charcoal. So there we go. That'll allow us to top our water up in a, in a moment. I'm not sure I want to actually because I think that might be still have, I've still got hot coffee in it from the, which is a useful little tip actually. If you make if you make hot coffee in your um, in your workshop canteen and then send it into orbit uh, and then you bring it on your next mission when it comes on your next mission you've got the hot coffee it's really useful actually so yeah I'll have my air back now so I can breathe there we go right start on air we'll just do the same with do the same with the um, food there we go so we've got some poison paste so I think to make poison stuff, I think we might need two of those. 
Well, there's just one, but we need fibre and charcoal. So, get a bit of fibre out here. Get charcoal out the fire. Oh, we'll make all first. All first anti poison tonic. And the other one that's good to have is an anti um, an antibiotic. But um, getting epoxy. Um, getting yeast would be a problem. You can make it with honeycomb, I need to find a beehive for that. Alright, we've got our first potion. <laughs> Right, well, while, while we're killing time, um, we're going to go to the other map location. So let's get travelling. Let's go. Let's leave that cooking. Shut our door and we'll head out. So, travel to map location. So we need to travel right round there. So we'll go over there first. And then we'll go straight down. I'm pretty sure there's bears, uh, bears on this map. Um, sorry, bears in this location on this map. Oh. Take that. We'll take that while we're here. It's always good to gather stuff when you see it. So always useful for antibiotics. Uh, we'll take some yeast. Okay, yeah, let's go. Forgot to fill my water canteen up, but it's okay, I've got plenty of water. I'll just have another bar, I've seed bar, just to. So I've always got three buffs running at the same time, so it's nice to have. There's some salt there, but I don't think this machine's going to be long enough that I really need to preserve my food for long term. So we will make our way across the map now. Keep away from those horses. If we see any uh, red bushes, we'll, not not the um, not those, they're coca bushes. We'll, if we see any of the red berry ones, we'll capture those. So they're good for making those the cereal bar things. Okay, I think we've got to where we were. Yeah. Okay. So we just need to put another map marker marker down and head down there. Let's go. yeast, so we'll have that. And the red berries I was talking about, so I'll have that as well. That was good to have. Little tip going downhill. Uh, if you walk, you tend not to uh, jump off and, and kill yourself. So if you just walk downhill, rather than jump, I jumped off anyway prove myself wrong, but normally <laughs> you don't sprint like I do. Uh, that's too high. It's tempting to just jump off and hope for the best, but you always end up with a sprain and then you end up walking much, much slower and then it's actually a false economy, so just walk down, should be fine. There we go. It's that wolf and I run past that. I heard it aggro me there, but I think I'm going to be running too fast for it to actually keep up. Right, do we go down or up here? Let's go left and stick with the stick with the side of the stick with the side of the canyon. So that the mountains are to my left, so I'm just going to run all the way down. We'll grab that bush. I'm just going to move that because that's annoying me a little bit. So oh, there we go. No red bushes. Working on that, how close are we getting? 
that actually. We, just need, we actually need to be on there, so let's see if we can get up there. Peeled now for well, this time. Make sure we activate the map long before we uh, we pick up <laughs> we pick up the plant thing. Assuming it's the same type of thing. Right, I'm into the map area. So this time, let's go right across the map until it until it activates. Right. One thing Icarus does better than anywhere else. Weird shit. <laughs> One thing Icarus does better than anywhere else. Weird shit. Love it. Okay, so let's have a look for the weird shit. So it's saying gather data. So we're looking for uh, looking for another weird plant, I assume. Suspected by the water's edge, so let's have a look around all these water, watery, edgy bits. See if there's anything that uh, sticks out. outside the zone. That's no wonder. Let's get back into the zone. That's just not good. Get back in the zone. First part of go. Follow the water's edge. Just keep our eyes open. How did I get so far out of the, out of the zone? Oh, something's going on there. The map's not working right. Something was going wrong. We're totally in the wrong direction. Right, we should be entering. There we are, we're entering the zone now. I don't think the zone's that big, is it, actually? I suspect it's along that water's edge, so I think we're going to go left, we're going to do a left to right sweep. Along the water's edge. funny up there, I'm just going to have a quick look. Oh no, it's just that rough. Right, well we're outside of the zone now, so let's go back. Back to that side of the water. Carry on with my plan, which is checking out the water's edge. So that's just a rock. Back to the water's edge. Well, I'm outside the zone again, so I've done the full sweep of the zone. Let's go back inside. Carry, along, carry on around the perimeter of the... Just kill that wolf, don't want that sneaking up on me. Ah, there's a beehive over there so we'll grab that as well just so that we can make some antibiotic if we need to when we get back to base. I don't think we're going to need to but grab the beehive and the honey. 
kill the bees. Let's carry on. Okay, so let's go right to the center. That's always a good choice. We'll go right to the center of the What does this look like? Well see. Centers over there. Kind of draws you back to the water, but I wonder if it's not in the water. Oh, it's going to be somewhere where it can be seen because it's a mission. It's not going to be hidden in the undergrowth somewhere. I'm assuming. Well, I'm assuming it looks the same as the other one. It may not look the same. Maybe something completely different. What's that? That rock looks different. That did look weird. I looked at that before, didn't I? That rock. I've never seen a rock that's got blue like that in it before. So let's let's see if that has something to do with it. Yeah. Ha! Press to interact. Wait. Check your map for the next location. Excellent. Right, looks like I don't need a base this side then. I'm just going to head straight back to the other. Let's head straight back to the other location. Oh, that was good. Just a little bit of discoloration on that silica node. Made it look different. In many ways, that was extremely lucky. I theoretically could have been looking for a long time there for that plant. But as soon as I questioned, does it look the same? I started, my brain started thinking about different things. Could it be something else? Go across. Well, it's 1pm now, only only five hours to wait till... This is useful because I can show you what it looks like um, before night comes, and I can show you what it looks like after night comes. It's definitely going to be easier to see this plant in the night, because it uh, has that lovely glow to it. I'm assuming I've not completely bugged out the, the game and ruined it, because I might have picked it already. Now it won't grow back, that would be annoying. I think I'm going to submit um, an error, a bug report actually, because the, the the quest isn't updating when you enter the map area. You've kind of got to cross the full map area before the quest updating, so that's a bit of a bug. So I suspect I should have completed this quest by now, and they should either do that or, or unlink the map location and just just the collecting the geo thing should be separate. So it should have remembered that I'll create and make it an item so that it's in my inventory and then when the map does update it automatically recognises I've got it and completes the mission. That'll probably be a better option too. I think this is a, one of the older missions, that's probably why. Right, how do I get back up to it? Uh, how do I get back to there? I need to go up there. Okay, back we go. Oh man, how do I get up there? I did a lot of jumping down, didn't I? And I can see if I can climb it. If not, I'll have to go a long way around, I think. Oh, I can't go. Oh, maybe I'll climb that. Oh, I'm going to get the track in it. I don't need any of this material, so I'm not going to bother. Let's just go. I think we have to go right the way around. There's no way up there, no easy way up there without creating a lot of um, 
So I have to go back across the water, up that side. I need to eat some of my other stuff to keep my muffs going on. So we'll have our last, uh, our last thingy bar. Another piece of meat. That's all my buffs back on. Oh man, it's a long way around to get back. Way out the way. Bit of a pain. <laughs> And now my stamina is depleted. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, the bear. Should we kill the bear? Go on then. <laughs> One shot. Excellent. So you have your stealth kill a bear. with that. Let's go. Another bear. Wow. I'm not be bothered with the other one. So let's just get running. I really like the change they've made with, uh, with the small trees where you can just kind of push through them. That's awesome. I used to get blocked by every single small tree. It's a real good quality of life improvement. One thing I really like this game about this game over Ark is they actually listen to people and put in quality of life improvements like that and actually make changes to improve the game. Alright, how do I get? Okay, need to be across the canyon and then right over there. Crikey. I have to go right to the end, I think. It's quite a tough way back, this. It would have helped if I hadn't had to do this, but there you go. <laughs> this so all we need to do now is wait for night in order to uh, hopefully that plant will regrow otherwise I'm going to have to redo the mission I really really hope that regrows problem is it doesn't look like it's it doesn't look like it did before I collected it so I'm, I'm Strongly sus I'm suspecting this might be bugged out, <laughs> which would be so annoying, having done all this work. Yeah, we'll deactivate that fire now. And uh, while we're waiting, we might as well make ourselves some antibiotic tonic. Having, um, having experienced the mission now and this one requiring night time, I'd probably now go for the other thing first. I'd probably just get out my dropship, run to the other, run to that piece of silicon, get that one, then come back, then wait for night, and then and then you close to your dropship and then you just finish. So that's probably what I'd do. If I do my, if I have to do it again, that's what I'll do. I might, and if I do that, I'll probably make a video, a short version. That's a shame because we were well prepared there as well. Just got everything set up nicely. 
Get some more bars all the way to. Oh, honeycomb bar. I've never seen that before. It's exactly the same as the as the burying seed bar. Okay, only a few hours to go now until the uh, until it's ready. Yeah, I might as well dry that meat out rather than leaving it in there. Let's put it in the dryer for a bit of a change. Make some jerky. What's it need to make jerky? Leave it. Just leave it in there. That's all you need to do. I've got a bad feeling that's not going to grow back now. <laughs> it looks like it's already picked. Oh, I can't believe it. It looked a lot taller. Even when it was daytime, it looked taller. Come on, grow back. If you wish to fast forward the video, by all means do so. It's probably only about five minutes before it becomes six o'clock game time. Which is what you need. Salt. There's some salt over there, wasn't there? Uh, where was it? Where was them rocks? I went over somewhere, I was like. Yeah, it was over there, I think there was some salt. Not good memory. station 52 might as well salt our meat doubles its uh, doubles its life oh look at that three perfect amount of salt for all my all my food <laughs> sorted that's all that because that's got 29 rather than 20 so. that was a bonus I'm getting some dried meters back up not that we're going to need it but Getting close now. Getting close. Nice place to get reeds around here as well. Like. Always gather, always gather crops with the. Always gather crops with the sickle. You get far, far more. gathering while we're waiting.
Yes, yay. I'm glad I didn't hit that rock. That would have been indeed. <laughs> So what we can do now is fill up our water flask. The problem is if I do that now, it will kill the coffee that's in it and just make it water again. So I think I'm going to, as the basis, on the basis of what I was saying before, at least uh, I'll keep my coffee if I send it back up to the dropship. So I think I won't bother filling that up for now. Okay, only one hour left now, not long to go. And if you can dry out. I don't think you can dry out pork meat, can you? No. So you've got to cook it. You've got to cook bacon. More salt, salt those bars. Have a look around. to go now it's 5.23 we're just waiting till 6 getting close only about 30 seconds maybe a minute to go we shall see what this looks like I really hope it goes back otherwise it's a failed mission due to a bug and I'm going to have to redo it Truth is nearly upon us. Okay, seven, seven seconds. Come on, five, four, three, two. Oh, it's growing back, it's growing back. Awesome, it's growing back. Did it grow back? Press. It grew back. I saw it grew, I saw it grow in front of my very eyes. Okay, we will collect it and see what happens. Ceases to amaze. Get in there. We're only just beginning to understand it. You but one thing beauty. is real clear. We've got a long way to go. Awesome. Right, so now it's time. Time to wind up. You've done everything they asked. No one knows exactly what Group 15 do, but they're going to be pleased with you. That's good, I think. Good on your group 15. Mission complete. Let's get back to the dropship. One thing I really don't like about them, I love open world because your mission, all your hard work doesn't disappear, but all those things I've built and crafted and grown, well, and cooked and everything, all just immediately lost for the next mission. I would say now I've seen the mission, uh, you don't need to do any of that stuff. You just need to run, run to that geode sample I did it the wrong way around really should have just ran to the one that's at the rock then ran back to this one waited for night and you've completed the mission 
So as long as assuming you've got some stuff from um, from the workout from the workshop, I can see it being a bit of a tougher mission if you didn't have all the gear I've got from the the, work, the crafting the orbital workshop. But if you have got all this gear, yeah, it's uh, you can rush this mission in very very quickly. Two hundred and fifty ren. What's that? Fifty exotics. Yeah, it's not exactly one of those. You, you know, if, you, if you're already farming exotics, I'm not going to really bother with two hundred fifty ren. So, okay. So first thing I do is take everything off. Start. Put everything that's need to in the. Orbit of exchange. So go down it. Fire should fill it back up. It's a good chat test. It should fill up. Yeah, apart from the arrows. So you can't put you can put the arrows back in, but you lose them actually because you've already got them out of their pack. So that's all my full thing back. Everything else will you lose. Return to. And that's it for me from Helvonic Games. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.